Hey, what's up guys? Um, I'm going to show you today how to flash these guys here, these ME7s. Um, it's the ECU out of a, well if you're watching this you know what it's out of. Um, let's see here, I'm going to use a, a program, I'm just going to get right to it. Um, basically what I'm going to show you how today, uh, I'm going to show you how to flash, read and flash an ME7 ECU that's in your jet. Um, this is 1.8T, um, they're all pretty much the same, VR6 1.8T, 2.0, all pretty much all the same, um, as far as this goes, as far as flashing goes, um, but what we're going to do, I'm going to use a program called Nethmodo, a lot of people don't like this program, a lot of people say it's shit and to an extent it is, but, um, it's by far the most, um, user friendly, as far as the graphic interface goes, um, and I'm going to be using my bench setup here when I'm not in the car, like you will probably be. Um, but it's the exact same thing. I mean, it's just a uh, OBD2 socket uh, wired up to ECU connected. Nothing to it. Um, if you guys are interested, you know, you can post in the comments below. Let me know, and I'll show you how to make one of these things. Super easy. Like, I went to the junkyard and got the stuff I needed for free. They just let me have it. Um... But uh, and another thing, all this software free, all all of this is free. I've every single Volkswagen I've ever owned, all of my friends' Volkswagens, everyone, everyone I've ever touched, um, I've never paid anything to tune them. Um, besides the hardware stuff, you know, like well, like I said, you know they get this free, but you know, like this, you know, stuff I had laying around. Just uh, you know, I, I've I've never paid for any software or anything like that, and. 99% um, of the uh, tuners out there don't. Um, let's see. Bring the F moto up here. Super, super simple. Um, and, and and what you're doing by by flashing this is that you're you're reading the the file the information off of the off the computer. You're going to read the factory. I'm going to show you how to read the the factory file. Uh, you know the 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 OEM file and you're going to want to save that and um, put it up put it on a flash drive somewhere put it in a safe just put it somewhere to where you'll have it uh, in the future if you want to go back to stock um, you can also use it you know to, to, if you got like an AWP you can also like flash other people's uh, if you delete the mobilizer that's another thing if you guys are interested in, in seeing how to delete them uh, or turn the mobilizer off I can be I'll be glad to make a video on that um, but that's that's another 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 story for another day. Um, we'll just get to it here. Um, but uh, like I said, everybody, this is free. Um, you'll be in your car, so you know you just ignore all these steps. Um, so I got got the camera and recording and doing all this by myself, so bear with me. But um, you got your dumb KKL cable, eBay, like two dollars. That's until you got your OBD on one end, and then it goes USB on the other. Plug it in, and you'll need to download the drivers for your cable, of course. Um, you know, and you go install your drivers and all that good stuff, and then you'll go and um, you uh, you set up your port and everything, and then you'll. You'll come over here. This is the same thing as you. You plug this up underneath the dash, and right now this is the same thing as me cutting the key on. So you cut the key on to the on position to where to like it's running, but the engine's not running. So you cut it on. Um, the lights will come on and everything. Um, and then you'll come over here to the computer, and you'll go over here and um, hit. You drop down this if you don't see your device, hit refresh devices, and then you'll see your cable there. And then you'll come up here and then you hit connect slow initiation. And give it a second. It's going to communicate with the ECU. You can see it communicate with the ECU right here. Alright, and then once you got it connected, you'll come up here to flashing tab, the flashing tab, and then you're going to come over here and uh, you're going to choose the flash file so that so like this would be um, 
you know, this is like where I was messing with my buddy's car. Um, you know, this is just where I read his stock file off. But um, you just, uh, when you first come in here, you won't do anything right there. What you'll do, all you'll do is you'll come over here and you'll hit choose memory layout. Come over here. Most of the time on AWP or AWW motor 1.8T, it's going to be this 29F800BB memory layout. You'll hit that, that memory layout there, hit open. And then after you hit your memory layout, you're going to hit full read flash. And then it's going to pop up here with the window say OK. And this one probably won't do it because I haven't uh, turned off the immobilizer. Um, but you'll just do that. It'll read your file. It'll save your factory file. Um, yeah, it says it's failed. But when you do it, it'll come up and it'll say that it successfully read the file. And it'll save it to your documents or wherever you got it. It'll say up here where it's saved to. Um, and then you just hit OK or whatever. Um, then you come over, cut the car off. And then cut it back onto the on position. And then you'll come over here, connect slow again. And then it's going to connect. It's thunder. And then you're going to go over here and you're going to choose your tune. Whether you go here and you'll choose, you like your, you'll go choose your stop tune. See, I've got my stock tune here, or you'll choose stock tune here, or you'll choose, you know, the stage two tune or whatever, you know, whatever you want to put on. So right now we're going to load the new tune onto the computer, click on it, hit open, and then we're going to choose the memory layout, F29F800 F20, BB, open, and then we're going to hit full bright flash. And then it's going to say, you know, you need to have uh, your battery charged up and all this, and you hit OK. It's going to come over here. It's going to do its thing. Of course, this one's not going to do it because I don't have the immobilizer turned off. But um, it will. It'll, it'll do it for you. Um, and then it'll take uh, it'll, it'll take a few minutes, a minute or two. And then it'll, uh, it'll say it successfully wrote. You'll come over here. Cut your key off. Cut the key back on. Cut the key off. Then crank the car. And you're good to go. Go bust some Mustangs or whatever you're feeling for dinner um but yeah guys um i'll post the links to this software like i said this is nef moto and um that's all you need is this kk kkl dumb cable interface cable nef moto which is freeware and uh, the only other thing that you'll need is a tune um and if you know somebody you can get a tune from uh hint hint uh, you're good to go Alright guys, I hope, uh, hope that helps you. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask.